Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Vox. Tracy here and in this video I'm going to show you how to do this border. Um, it's just a simple little border and this is kind of a crab stitch edge. Um, this is by far the best method I've seen for the crab stitch. So I'm going to show you how to do that on this little swatch. My, my blanket is now complete so not only is this a standalone video on this border, it is part three of my crochet along and I've made this well, it's quite a large um, swatch to show you on so as I have done um, half trebles around here I figured if I did more half trebles which is a half double in the US it would make it to the height very much quicker but I decided I wanted a different look so I have done what we call in the UK a double crochet, which is a single crochet in the US. So for those of you who have not taken part in the cow, I will put a link to it in the description box and at the end of this video. There is a right-handed and a left-handed version. But for those of you who are just watching this as a video for the border, um, I will let you know this is DK weight yarn. I've got a four and a half millimeter crochet hook. I've got my darning needle and scissors but there hasn't been that many ends really to attach only while I was joining my squares a little bit of attaching so I'm going to make this seamless and as such I want to find the center stitch so there's one you kind of have to look at this because sometimes when there are three what is actually the center can be a little bit offset so I think I just look at it and think to myself, which one looks more central? And it's this one, I think. So I'm going to attach there and I'm going to just leave a normal tail this time. Don't need to leave a really long one because I am going to work it in as we go. So you can join your yarn however you normally do. I like to knot mine. Um, there's no chance of it ever coming undone and I prefer that, plus I'm going to work over it. So what I'm gonna do is if this doesn't look right, then I will just pop it into the next one. That's how I normally work. Sometimes it's really hard to pick the, the center one and the actual center one will make it a little crooked. So my first stitch is a, sh a shortened chain or a cinched down chain. And in this stitch here that I'm joined with, I'm going to make two UK doubles or US single crochets in that stitch and then when I get back round I will finish that corner right so as you can see that has pulled round just a little bit and that's probably why it sometimes looks off centered so I'm going to make a few stitches going to do one in each of my stitches you don't want to pull them too tightly I'm going to work over the tail as I go Okay, now I'm going to stop and have a look at it because does that look as if it's in the center? Not quite sure. So I'm going to try the next stitch along. So I'm just going to I'm just going to slip stitch to it because I've only joined my yarn after all. But you know, you're if you're you're obviously not alone in finding that middle stitch difficult if you do. Now I think I've got the right one this time. I'm going to do my two and go along. I know from making that, uh, finishing the blanket, that sometimes it is either stitch. So there you go. Now we are in the center and it was in fact the center one this time. So I'm going to go all the way to the end of my first square, making one stitch in each one all the way along. I understand that that can be a little bit boring. So I'm gonna pause it, I'll catch up with you when I get to this point here. Okay, so now I'm at my join and with the best will in the world, going into the center to um, make your join will give you a dip. Sometimes it's a worse dip than others, but you will always get some kind of a dip there. Now, in the past, I've tried just doing my stitches around and it does kind of even out a little bit, but there is always an indentation, always a dip. So what I normally do, and I know it's not the same stitch, but I will 
continue until I get to that that pronounced dip and then I will do a half treble or half double in that space there. Now, looking at it, my next stitch should definitely be in this join. It's the distance between that you need to make sure you're covering. Now, that you can put one in that little stitch there, but I feel that if I do, it's going to be bulky and it will fan out a little bit. So I'm going to go straight for this one. It's taller, so I'm going to do my um, UK double US single. Now, as you see, that has evened out that dip. There might be the merest hint of a dip, but as we go round and do more rows, rounds, rounds, um, that will disappear altogether. And I'll show you on my blanket that, you know, it has disappeared altogether. You've just got a lovely kind of straight edge. Now, obviously, I haven't blocked this. I haven't pressed it in any way at all. So it is has just been done. So it does even out, I can assure you. So now I'm going to do that all the way until I get to this corner. So I will pause the video and I'll catch up with you when I get to this one. We'll do one more together um, and then I'll just keep going until I get to the corner and show you what to do there. Okay, so I'm back at the next one. We'll do one more together. And so this, we're still at the same kind of height. So I'm carrying on until I get, I think I must have got to a join part there. Okay. So now this one is slightly lower. So I'm going to do my UK half treble, half double US. Okay, so the spacing is what you're really concerned with. Now, I feel like we do need, you can see how far apart my stitches are. We do need to go into this one again. I have reached a part of my, I don't think that really went in the center, did it? I'll we'll go try. We need to really push our way in and do our half treble. Now, again, going in that one will be too close. So I'm going to go straight into the next one. And it does pull it slightly, but I might do that again. It might look a bit a little messy. Try and get into that a little bit cleaner. There we go. That's better. Much straighter. So it's really, if, it, if at first it doesn't look right, don't be frightened to go back and just correct it. So there you are, nice and straight. Now, when you're doing this border, obviously your ridges end and your border begins. So it will look a little different. It will, but that's fine. That's what I really wanted. So now um, I've done a couple of these pieces here with you. All you have to concern yourself with is getting your stitches the right distance apart. That's the only thing. Don't make them too close together. Don't be tempted to go into every single little place along these ridge joins. Okay, so now I'm going to pause the video and I'll catch up with you when I get to the corner and we'll get round there together. Okay, so here I am at my corner. And again, it looks to me as if the actual centre one is right in the centre. And so I'm going to do three stitches in that one stitch. And that will turn us quite nicely around the corner. And we are dead center just look at it though and if your um if your work is telling you that that one will bring you too far around just undo it and go to this one but that one is actually in the dead center so that's fine now what i'm going to do is go all the way along do this corner all the way along the long side into that corner and i'm going to go all the way around working over my joins in exactly the same way some of them have less dip than others this one has virtually no dip at all so that will just be um, a straight uk double us single crochet as i go over you just need to judge it it's the same as long as you keep them the same distance apart it's exactly the same as when you're picking up stitches along the edge of your work um, when there's no stitch to go into, you know, when you're going along the sides. So it's exactly the same thing. Just keep them the same distance apart. And if it needs to be a little bit taller, 
that stitch then make it that little bit taller okay so i'm going to go all the way around i'll catch up with you when i get back to the star and we'll finish that corner i'm almost at the end now so i'm going to show you how to finish this corner off now we're going to go into the same stitch we put our two in for our last one we're making our third and then we're going to slip stitch into that one there which is our first stitch and that puts us in the dead center of our corner ready to do the same thing again for our next round so um you don't have to do your chain and cinch it down this time you can just go back in to your stitch and pull it up and carry on like a standing start do our two and then i'm going to do one in every single stitch all the way around three in the corners and i'm going to do that for another two rounds um my my actual border had three i think it was three one two three i'm sure yeah, three three rounds of um uk double crochets or us singles so we just need to repeat that last round two more times um i'm going to pause the video I'll come back to you when I have my two rounds and we'll finish it off with this cute little edging. Now I've made it all the way around and I've got my edges look nice and flat. So I'm going to show you how I did that little kind of um, border edging. Okay, so now this is a tad fiddly, but it's well worth it. So I'm going to insert my hook into the same stitch that I've slip stitched, slip stitched into and pull up my loop. I'm going to turn my hook all the way around and I'm going to hold on to this while I pull through because sometimes it's hard to get your, your hook through. Now in the next stitch, I'm just going to make a slip stitch and in that same stitch that I've slip stitched into I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to pull up my loop I'm going to turn my hook all the way around and I'm going to hold on to it to get my my stitch through and do a slip stitch into the next one and I'm going to do that again with you I'm going to insert my hook pull up a loop turn it all the way around hold on to it to get my hook through and slip stitch and as you can see it makes this really kind of cute little border I'm going to show you again I'm going to try and zoom in a bit so that it's um I'll try and get it in the right place then there we are so I'm going to insert my hook and pull up my loop I'm going to turn my hook all the way around didn't like that did it never mind the camera I mean pull my yarn through and slip stitch into the next stitch in the same stitch pull up my loop all the way around I like that one better I'm not sure if you saw it but it did go a little bit um, out of focus thinking what on earth is she doing but there you are I really like this I think it looks kind of cute on the edge it's better finish than just having the uneven kind of, well, they're not that uneven, but you know what I mean. It's just a, a nicer finish to the edge. So I'm going to do that all the way along. Just carry on exactly the same. If you didn't hold it, you can get it through, but it is easier just to hold it and pull it up as you do it. Okay, so do that in every single stitch along and I will come back to you and show you how it looks at the corner okay so here i am at the corner and i wanted to show you this because we just carry on working exactly the same over that corner and goes into the next one exactly the same as if it's not a corner at all just a regular stitch um we don't have to do a couple in any corner or anything like that. We are just purely going over and going 
straight over it as if it didn't exist. So what I want you to do then is to go all the way along the sides around each corner and I will catch up with you when we get back to the start. I'm almost back at the start, so just a few more to do. Uh, yep, two more, I think. Oop, does it help? Camera's in the way, sorry. It's hard to, um, it's much quicker and easier to manoeuvre without it. Right then, so you can um, just slip stitch straight away into the first one where you started, which is here, but you can go into this bit here. It would make it a lot cleaner. And then all we have to do now is one chain, cinch it right down cut the yarn and pull it through and just sew this end in make sure you kind of give it a tug downwards and then it will be finished off exactly the same but I really like this little edge because it kind of the way it almost goes in front of the, the one before I think it's really really cute so well, that's it. Cal is finished and I hope you like that. If you haven't already, as I said before, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.